Let me show you how to stream to Twitch using your iPhone or iOS device. The first thing we wanna do is navigate over to our app store. And now if you've seen some of my other videos, you can stream directly to Twitch through the Twitch app, but it's honestly kind of garbage because you'll either be able to stream yourself or you can stream just your game. So there's really not that great of options there. So what we're gonna be using today instead is we're gonna go into the store and type in Prism Live. Oh wow, I actually did spell this time, nice. Hit search, we're gonna scroll down and it's it's gonna be this one with the triangles. So we're gonna download that app, and this app will allow us to have our chat on our screen. We can have a VTuber avatar. We can have different web overlays and a bunch of other cool stuff that the Twitch app won't let us normally do while streaming through our phone. So once the app is done downloading, we can hit open. And now we're on the home screen of Prism Live, which also is sponsoring today's video. So shout outs to them. So since we're streaming to Twitch, we can click on the Twitch option. We can hit continue, and we're gonna log in with our Twitch account. Once you're logged in, we're going to grant it access to all the different things that it's going to need in order to broadcast our stream over to Twitch. Next, we'll be brought to the main screen of the Prism app. We can simply hit start and you'll see we have three different options here at the bottom. The very right is the VTuber option if you want to stream as a VTuber. And then you'll see we have the little mic side on here. So when I'm talking, you can obviously see that my microphone's picking up my voice. And if you want it to be more sensitive and you can drag it down and it will be more sensitive whenever I'm talking, that's kind of cool. To the left of the VTuber option, we have camera. So you can obviously you can see me over here if you wanted to stream IRL. But I know most of you guys are here for wanting to stream your games. So we're going to hit the screen option all the way on the left. And this might look a little different for you. If you guys are rocking a 15 chip or higher, then you'll see these two options right here. If you're rocking a chip that's 14 or lower, you will not see these options. Either way, it's going to be fine. You're still going to be able to stream. You just won't have as many options to customize. If you guys are wondering, I cheaped out. This is the cheapest iPhone you can get with a 15 chip. So if you guys want to know which phone I'm using, I'll leave it linked in the description down below. Cause you know we're balling on a budget. So for all my 15 chip and higher people, you'll see a portrait option and a landscape option. We can go and click on either of these. If you're playing vertical games, you'll click the portrait option, but I'll also show if you're doing both. So I'm going to turn the phone and this is what we see. You see the Navy part. The Navy part's going to be our game capture. My vertical capture, my game will be right here. Now you can see they've automatically added a chat overlay and you can click on it and you can go and drag it around just to place it wherever you'd like. So let's say I want it up here. I can also make it smaller by pinching it and you can also make it bigger the other way as well. You can also click on the edit button so you can edit the chat settings and you can make it disappear messages. You can change the opacity, like how transparent it is. You can change the chat color, the font. I'm going to do bold. I feel like bold is nice, right? You can change what it looks like. So you can have a nice black box behind it if you so choose, or you can just make it look a little different. I'm gonna go with style three. I like that. And then we're gonna hit save. And that's what our new chat box looks like. Once you're done editing, you can just tap anywhere on the screen. And then you'll see we have these options here on the right hand side. You can press the plus button and you're gonna be able to add new sources. So that's how you add your chat. If you wanna add an image, like a picture of yourself, you can do that as well. If you wanna add a VTuber avatar. You can pick any of the pre-made options here. And then if you want, you can just download let's say this one. I like the little ice cream hoodie. So download that, then hit save. And you'll have your little VTuber avatar. So I'm going to make her a little bit smaller, drag her down. And then you have the microphone sensitivity here. So whenever you talk, you'll be able to see her mouth moving up and down, which is kind of neato. So I'm just going to bring it right about there. But you know, right now I don't really want her on the screen. I'm going to keep it a nice, clean and simple. But you can also add different web overlays. So if you wanted to add like an alert box and that sort of thing, you'll have to have the browser source URL that you get from Streamlabs or whatever streaming service that you want to use for your alerts or whatever overlays and stuff you want like that. But when I tried using it for alerts, it was very laggy and not great. So use it your own risk. Your mileage may vary and they will probably update that in the future. So we can X out of that. The one below it, these little like stacked diamonds, these are your different layers. So basically, if you don't want to accidentally move these around while you're in the editing screen, you can press the lock button and they'll stay there. You notice that our chat layer is higher than our screen capture layer. So so for example, if I drag the chat layer lower and then I were to drag it over behind it, it's behind this layer. So obviously we don't want that. We'll go here and just make sure that our chat is above our screen capture. Makes sense, right? So we can exit out of the layers and then we're gonna tap on the screen. So the button below that, that's gonna change our settings for the horizontal or landscape streaming mode. So if you're playing games that are in this resolution, then it'll automatically switch to this kind of scene and you'll be able to change how you want that to look. Let's 
just leave it in the bottom left because when we're playing vertical games, then it'll be in the top left. When we're playing landscape games, it'll be bottom left. You can obviously do more things like adding more sources and everything we did on the horizontal, but let's keep it clean and simple. So let's hit back, turn my phone back to vertical to keep things simple. For all my chip 14 and lower members, this is where it should be back to normal for us. So when you're ready, you can start streaming by hitting ready, and then we'll be able to set our destination, and then we can choose wherever we want to stream to. Obviously, the video is titled Twitch, so we're going to link our Twitch account, and then hit connect on Twitch right there, then hit continue, and it's going to connect the Twitch account that we linked at the beginning, as you can see indicated right there, so we'll hit OK. You'll also be able to enter a title, so we can enter in yo. We can also change the game category we're playing under. For the first game we're going to play, it's going to be Clash Royale. Choose the category. If you can't find the category, you can also stream under games plus demos. That's also a good workaround. And then if you see the number right there, you can click the number and you'll be able to change your stream quality settings. If you have a very good phone and internet connection and speed, then you'll be able to raise the bit rate and resolution for better quality. But if you're not so great or you're lagging or dropping frames or just stuttering or freezing, then you can lower the resolution and the bit rate until you get it to a nice smooth stream. I feel like these are good settings to get started, so let's hit OK. And now we can hit Go Live. Now you'll see Screen Broadcast, Prism Live, Microphone On. If you don't plan on using your microphone at all and you're sure about it, then you can turn the microphone off. However, if you think you might use it, you might not, then you can turn it on and we'll adjust the volume of the microphone to all the way to zero so it's muted. And then when you're ready to talk or if you want to talk, then you can bring it up and your microphone will be on because changing it while you're streaming otherwise is a pain in the butt. So I'm going to leave the microphone on and when I'm ready to go live, I'm going to hit start broadcast. It's going to count down before our broadcast actually starts. Once it's started, I can press the home button. And if you're on the chip 15, or higher, you should be able to see these settings where we'll be able to adjust our game volume, aka the device volume, and also adjust our microphone volume as well. So if you want your microphone to be louder, you can bring this up over here. If I, oh geez, my little sausage fingers. Or if you don't want anyone to hear you right now, just drag it all the way to the left and no one can hear you. It's muted. And then if you change your mind, you can bring it back up there. It's all good. So for 15 chips and higher, you can also use a screensaver. So click the little screensaver. And what this will do is you can choose a style. The left is starting starting soon. This one is thanks for watching, be right back, and so on and so forth. So let's start with starting soon. So you also have a screensaver auto off timer. And basically what this does, it'll just automatically turn off your screensaver after a certain amount of time. So let's say we want it to turn off after five seconds of turning it on. So for instance, I'll hit five seconds. As soon as I hit the hide broadcasting screen, it'll put up whatever image we selected here. So for this instance, it'll be starting soon. So let's bring up Twitch to show you what it looks like. So as soon as I hit hide broadcasting screen, I'm going to enable it. It's going to give us five seconds of this message appearing on your screen so you can go and navigate to your game freely. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to go and navigate to the game that we're going to be streaming first, which is Clash Royale. So I'm going to bring up the game right now, give it a couple seconds. Obviously, got to wait a couple seconds. There we go. Now you can see that I am playing the game on my phone, but on Twitch, it's also showing the layout that we have selected, aka the chat in the top left corner. So you'll go and play your game as normal and you're streaming. But let's say that you want to switch games to horizontal, right? So you can double tap, or at least on my phone, you can. And you can go over to your horizontal game. I'm going to turn this horizontally and then your stream will automatically change as well. So that's pretty cool because you can see our overlay in the bottom left corner with the chat is appearing on our stream. Now, a couple things that I'm not a huge fan of is that you can't see your chat over your phone screen while you're actually live for your phone, but the Twitch viewers will be able to see it on the stream. If you want to check chat, then you'll have to go back in the prism map while you're live. You hit this little chat bubble right there and you hit show chat chat view and you'll be able to read your chat right there. You can also go and type messages like enter text for chat and type back that way if you would like. So I think that's kind of a pain in the butt. But the bright side is you have a lot more control and options for your streams using this method. And when you're done streaming, you can simply hit the end button in the top right corner, hit end, and then it'll end your broadcast. And then if you're a chip 14 user or lower, you can watch the video on the top. Or if you're having any problems using this app and you want to use the other method to stream using your phone, watch the video below that. But my name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.